All right, and welcome to day two of Clicked Off's coverage of the Marvel Studios What If Miniatures game, all tied into the Disney Plus um, Hero Click set by WizKids. Uh, we're super excited, and thanks to WizKids for sending us all this stuff our way to um, to review and unbox. And so the Miniatures game is here. We've been super excited for these yes. since they started making these last year. Um, and even the um, Battlegrounds set was kind of the yeah. start of this a couple of years ago. Yeah, the Clash set. Yeah. yeah, so it's been super exciting to unbox these and play these. Lots of value. Yeah, beautiful packaging. Beautiful packaging. Competes with board games. We've said that in all of our videos on these. Um, but let's start out first. I like to do this with the Dyson Tokens. We unboxed the brick yesterday. If you didn't see that video, go check it out in the Play at Home kit. Um, I'm always a fan of the Dyson Tokens. Uh, on vacation mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago, I actually went and bought, the store had a bunch of oh, yeah. Dyson Tokens and I just stocked up on some. Nice. Just because I like WizKids Dice. I like um, these dice, these blue and white dice. Yeah, blue yeah. and white dice. And it's got the Watcher, mm -hmm. the Watu. Um, and just for the test, First roll, brand new dice. Here we go. A five. Mm. And then a, the first single D6 roll hey. is a five. There we go. So maybe that's particularly lucky. So we've got the Red Wing Pog on the back of one of these. Uh, and then just some scenes from the movie. So on this side, we've got Captain Carter. Um, the Evil Doctor Strange, the Hydra Stomper, Zombie Cat, Zombie Cap, uh, Black Widow, Party Thor, the Watcher, Loki, Mobius, Mobius, yep, thanks, and Killmonger, and Star Lord. Yep. So the ones from the live action shows are surprisingly photorealistic. I, it, Maybe it's just a 3D rendering of the sculpt that they made, but if you look at the animated show ones... Yeah, they're definitely an animation style. Versus yeah, the the Loki is photorealistic, and then the animated style is definitely animated. But these are like super high-quality stickers. Still though, I mean, I don't know. It did just yeah. feel good. Yeah, they always are. These, to these guys and tokens are always really nice. Yeah, they've been good for years, and... Very high quality product. I always enjoy using those. But five and a five on the two D six roll and the one D six roll. And the mini game set. So we've got a Watu, Captain Carter, Zombie Cat, Party Thor, recurring theme here, Hydra Stomper, Gamora, Killmonger, all kinds of cool stuff on the box. Um, and everything you need to play the game, including a set of red. That's not the Watcher, is it? What is that? It is. It's the same. Oh, is it? This? Yo, it's up, I was looking at it upside down. Mm -hmm. So I think the blue and white ones are. I think the blue and white looking. ones pop a little bit more. Uh, first two d six roll. Eight. That's reasonable. Yeah. And then the single d six roll. Six. Is six. So eight and a six. So you go for the uh, better looking or the better performing dice. Yeah, well, <laughs> better performing. <laughs> better performing dice. So let's okay, take. Okay, if she ugly, if she performs well. <laughs> that is true. Um, so the sculpts here. Um, just do a little close up here of the mini game sculpts. We saw a lot of our Hydra sculpt, uh, Stomper sculpt. Yeah. Again. We spoiler alert. We pulled the Hydra Stomper in our yeah. brick, and we're very excited about that. This mini game has the same sculpt and it is fantastic. Um, so, let's see here. So, the for our mass audience of Heroclix players, the map is what we are always interested in because uh, we can play these in a regular game of Heroclix. This is art I've never seen before. No. Um, So, in the main set, in the Play at Home kit, we got not a reprint map. Um, so, 1B, 
to be... Okay, no, here we go. So there's A1, just, yeah, and then yeah. A9. That doesn't seem right. Uh, and then we go down to 24. This is just some odd multiversal mashup of things. Yeah, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Yeah, so that goes up there. So I'll get a little bit of a view of this um, map. I don't know. This should be down in the corner. That's 6B, right? So yeah. this goes down here. 2B is... Right here, this should be right. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, this is... Yeah, the so street. there's the street. There's the starting area over there. Here's a starting area over here. So this matches this, this matches that, that matches this. This is the strangest. Yeah, the strangest map, map. I've ever seen. Uh, Apocalyptic Avenue Outdoor. Outdoor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera here to get a better view of this. So ignore the glare, please. It's very hard to photograph these maps or video them, I should say. And again, check out facebook.com forward slash clickstoff for some pictures and stuff this week as we get all this stuff uploaded. So very exciting for that map. And then let me get the camera set back up. And then while I'm standing up, I'll go ahead and give a close up of these sculpts. So... Lots of good, high-quality sculpts, as usual, from those kids. That's, that's my opinion that I stick to. Pre-painted, mm -hmm. ready-to-go, yeah. out-of-the-box sculpts. I good love them. Always, good always exciting for me. Yeah, so there's H8. Yeah, we put it together right. It's just, it doesn't seem like we put it together the right. The art is just very odd. Right. right. So 1A, and this is 4A. So you should just 3A. flip. 3A. Flip, that'll go down here. You flip and swap. So 1A, nope, this is a B. Yeah, that's the one you want. This is 5A. Yeah, this is downtown, indoor, outdoor. Downtown, indoor, outdoor. That so this here, is, that's indoor on that end. So let's see, 1A. 4A, 2A, 5A, 3A, 3A 6A. 6A. So it's, uh, it's okay, so this is before it gets destroyed in the apocalypse, yes. I guess. Yeah. So then, I'm going to set us up here real that quick. That makes more sense, yeah. It does. See, we had no idea here which way to go for which, but definitely three areas of play. I like that quite a bit. That's this, this artwork harkens back to the original Heroclix maps. Yes. And the artwork style that was on them, if you haven't seen the early stuff. Yes. Yeah, Google some images of uh, some of the Infinity Challenge maps and stuff. That definitely looks like those, most certainly. But I dig that. That's cool. And then yeah. the numbering is in place. Yeah, I like how the numbering's on each tile. So you know how to put it together correctly. Now this one has the starting areas there with some blocking there. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'm trying not to, yeah, I'm not taking up too much of this screen here, but that, and they're not, they're not symmetrical maps. No. So they're asymmetrical. So player two does have a choice. And is that blocking there? No, no, that doesn't look like. No, that doesn't look like blocking. So this room goes to this room. And yeah, this is, I'm trying to, I'm like thinking about this map from like a strategic perspective. Oops. Oops. <clears throat> and it's now post-apocalyptic downtown. Yeah, this is actually, um, this is not blocking here, right? This is. This is blocking. The black. The black should be blocking. Should be walls, I should say. Okay, it's walls, yeah. Yeah, and then this goes from indoor to outdoor. Yeah, because here's the door, and that's not the official doors that we used to have. Right. 
but just the opening to the, the building. The artwork's just throwing me off a little bit because right. it's not what I'm used to anymore. But yeah, yeah, it's a little. It's pretty trippy. But those walls are just splitting up that whole starting area. The walls in the starting zone are quite impressive. So we're yeah. talking extended starting zones here for too. if you have a bunch of two by twos, and it breaks up adjacency in the start zones, which can be relevant for carry and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So. More to come on this map. Yeah. For your regular Hero Clicks player, that's a lot. This map is a lot of value for this. Yeah. Um, along with some stuff that we've kind of already seen, but so let's get these out of the way. These beauties. So make sure. Yeah. Wow, I'm. I'm blown away, right? The new map that we got in the Play at Home kit it's yesterday. Great. Yeah. Uh, in yesterday's video. And now this new map in this. So, Different uh, implications for the game. That very good that WizKids can still design maps and do it very well, in my opinion. Yeah. Those two maps, these four new maps are the very, very yeah. exciting. More looking at the new, for sure. Yes. So, big congrats from us to. Or big ups from us to his kids. Um, and like we've seen all these stuff. Yeah, we did. I did. I did a close up there. Yeah. So, oh, I tell you what, I can already see something I like here a lot. Look at the size of the pack powers here. Nice. So for that's a condensed pack, but for folks that are aging mm -hmm. uh that's really easy to read you've got the rule book here i like that a lot uh, yeah it's good looking it's slick couple of packs in oh. here okay um i'd like to hear from somebody that's used this as their first rule book one of these type how right. did that how did that serve you yeah mm -hmm. and then so we got our heavy objects here a sewer lid, a park bench, a oh gosh, what is a hammer? The automated hammer, a matic hammer. Yeah, jackhammer. Jackhammer, a motorcycle, a vending machine, a box, a crate, I should say. Then the lights are a mixer table, DJ mixer table, toaster, computer, a frying pan, a lighter jackhammer. <laughs> um, Kid version. And then a adjustable wrench. The action tokens that we've seen before. Um, this is a little bit different style on these markers, I think, from the last one. Just based off of memory. Um, but you've got plenty of debris, smoke, special markers. Um, and then um, special objects to use with the game here. So you've got all of the infinity stones. Um... Now, of course, these aren't usable in regular hero clicks, um, but uh, it'd be cool if they did. The Reality Stone yeah. has Ranged Combat Expert. The Mind Stone has Mind Control. Um, and then the Soul Stone has Regen. Uh, Power Stone has Close Combat Expert. Space Stone has plus three movement. And then uh, it's falling apart out of here, so. One, two, three, four. Um, must be in there. Must be in here, yeah. Time Stone, here it is. Time Stone is hypersonic speed. Man. I wish these were usable. Yeah, I wish these were usable in a real Hero Clicks game, but uh, they historically not have been. So, uh, lots of tokens to use with the game. Um, we are going to have a playthrough video uploaded later this week with our special guest. Mm -hmm. Um... And then the scenario cards, y'all will go over those later this week. Um, but this unboxing is kind of focused around the game as far as a regular Hero Clicks player uh, and not really the board game player would play. So two cards for each one. We've got nine characters, yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, we have 10 characters, looks like. That's right, yeah. So, um, the A is the 
simpler side and the B is the more advanced side of it. Um, so we start out with the watcher on the e on the simpler side, uh, four clicks for 30 points, cosmic and herald keyword, TK and perplex, um, eight range. I like I like the watcher. We'll go through the simpler ones. Captain Carter, 30 points for five clicks, charge, flurry, leadership, and close combat expert with solid stats, six range, double bolts. T'Challa, Star-Lord, uh, running shot, leadership, five clicks for 30 points, ending with range combat expert and energy shield deflection. Not a lot to write home about these dials, but 30 points for these amount of clicks has gotta be, you know, it's some yeah. usefulness there for your teams. Um, Stephen Strange Supreme, no movement powers. Uh, attack is Psyblast at the very end. Super Sense is Outwit, Mystic, six range, single target, prob, and 30 points for five clicks again. Gamora, daughter of. Let's see. Th there is no daughter of Thanos, it's just Gamora, hmm. daughter of. Uh, Flurry Blades, 12 attack. Um, combat reflexes, exploit. Uh, no keywords. Strange had mystical and warrior. That must have been a typo. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Post apocalyptic back widow, Avengers future, martial artist, soldier spy, warrior. Five clicks, thirty points. In cap, close combat or combat reflexes. Super senses, four range, double bolts. Party Thor, running shot, five range, double bolts. Five clicks, thirty points. Energy shield deflection. Avengers Asgard, celebrity deity, soldier. Killmonger, Precision Strike, Steel Energy, Regen, Outwit, five clicks, 30 points, seeing a theme here. Um, Hydra Stomper is a standard character, or a Starburst character, not a giant like he was in the main set. Uh, four range, triple bolts with end cap, 18 defense, 17 combat reflexes at the end, three damage and power. Okay, I know there's Captain America. Oh, Tommy Captain Zombie America. Captain America. Five clicks, 30 points, um, charge, flurry, um, three range, single bolt, steel energy, exploit weakness, a little bit of regen at the end. Um, but again, these are very simple dials to get you started in the game. Mm -hmm. um, do we want to... Do you want to go through these backwards? We you want to talk about... Yeah, you, know, you want to talk about the Watcher last. So yeah. You can go through the... Start with the zombie Captain America that we just talked about and go from there. Yeah. So we got uh, B side, B side. We got Zombie Captain America, the Monster Soldier and Warrior. He's got special damage, uh, special attack power, infection spread, steel energy. When Zombie Captain America hits with a close attack, after resolutions, you may give all hit characters an action token. He has forty points. He has five clicks. He has starts with charge, eight move, twelve attack, eighteen defense, toughness, three damage, exploit weakness. Then he goes to Flurry with four clicks of that special attack power. Uh, the first two clicks have, uh, first, clicks two and three have exploit weakness, the back two are bear. Uh, two and three are bear on the defense, but he has regen on the last two. Uh, Hydra Stomper is also a Star Wars character here, not a giant. He has special attack power rounding up the enemy's giant reach four. And incapacitate. Ooh, Giant Reach 4. Mm -hmm. We saw like Giant Reach 6, six. on the main set. Um, Captain Carter, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. So this one is uh, 40 points. He starts with charge in the first and the last click. He has that special attack power, the entire dial. Close combat reflexes, the entire dial, starting with an 18. He has three clicks of empower on the middle three da uh, damage clicks. Killmonger. We have Stark Industries, Wakanda Soldier Spy Warrior. Special damage power out, uh, outwit. If Killmonger occupies hindering terrain, he may use outwit an additional time this turn. He's also 40 points, a whole dial of stealth. First three clicks of his attack are just a strike, nothing on the last. Nothing on the first three defense clicks, region on the last two. The special damage power on the first and the last two, and outwit in between. Party Thor, we have Asgardian Avengers, Celebrity Deity Soldier. No special powers here. He is 40 points as well. Three clicks of Ronnie Shot, two empty, tire dial of Psy Blast, three clicks of Toughness, two Energy Shield, three clicks of Bear, three damage, and then two clicks at the end with two damage and range combat expert. 
Post-apocalyptic Black Widow. We have Avengers, Future, Martial Artist, Soldier Spy, and Warrior. Special movement power that gives her running shot and stealth, which she has on the first two clicks. Last three are stealth. Hold dial of end cap. Two clicks of close combat reflexes to start with an 18, then three of super senses. Nothing on her damage dial. 40 points, four range, single bolt. The Gamora, daughter of, which I think this. The, the book calls her daughter of Thanos, so. Yeah, I think this is missing. missing there. It looks like the formatting on the card's a little bit off, so. Yeah. Uh, she's 40 points. She has three clicks of a special uh, movement power. It's charge and stealth. And then flurry. She has a whole dial blade. Starts out with super senses in the first two. No defense powers in the last three. Ends with three clicks at exploit weakness and just bare three damage up front on the first two. And Doctor Strange has got some words here. Doctor Strange Supreme, Mystical, and Warrior. And a special attack power that ends justify the means. When Doctor Strange Supreme makes an attack, you may choose a friendly character within range and deal them one unavoidable damage. If he did, Doctor Strange Supreme modifies damage plus one and may make an attack as if he occupied the square of the chosen character. That's interesting. Oh. A friendly character. Yes. Huh. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. For 40 points? For 40 points. 11 3, 6 range. So he'll be 11 to 4 uh, yeah. after he does that and can then shoot from wherever they are. So you can send somebody out, running shot up 4, target out 6, and then go 12. So that's 16 range reach. So you running shot, mm -hmm. choose a friendly character within range and deal them one unavoidable damage. If he did, Dr. Strange Supreme modifies damage plus 1 and he may make an attack as if he occupied the square. So he's got 16 squares of reach. Right? Uh, Running shot four, yeah. target somebody six squares out, deal them one unavoidable, and as just, if he occupied that square, six more range. Yeah. That's pretty big. That's pretty good. For 40 points. Yeah. That's pretty good. The Chala Star Lord, Ravagers of Conda, Pirate, Soldier, and Spy. 40 points, running shot for three, and then two hypersonic clicks, three precision, and then nothing. Hold dial, energy shield deflection. Three damage on the first three with no powers and two on the last two with range combat expert. Captain Carter has Howling Commandos, Invader, Shield, Soldier, and Spy. She's 40 points. She starts off with three clicks of Charge Flurry. Ends with two clicks of Flurry. No attack powers. Her. She goes 11, 11, 11, 12, 12 on her dial. 18 nice. toughness and then 17 toughness. Three damage leadership and then... Close combat expert on the last two, three and two. So she's flurrying with a 12 for three there at the end or a 12 for four and a click before it. Well, she's got close combat expert. So it's 13, four or 13. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that's one more. So the watcher. So I'm beginning to think, so this is for our regular competitive hero clicks players audience. Um, I'm beginning to think that watcher is going to receive some sort of errata. Oh, let's hold on. Well, I'm beginning to think so because so um, 40 points for six clicks and he's got to defend at the end. He's got outwit. He's got outrange, eight range. Um, he's got mystics. Um, and then his trait is, uh, I know you're reading these, but I'll explain. I want to explain why I think he's going to have a chat to have a change. The watcher's line of fire are never blocked. At the beginning of your turn, you may turn the watcher's dial to any click. So he becomes a really broken mastermind fodder mm -hmm. with mystics. Mm -hmm. So unless you hit him for six in a single turn, mm -hmm. and it's just 40 points that you're gaining from that, right? and he goes, if you hit him for three, let's one, two, three, right? He goes to click four, mm -hmm. well, one, two, three, four, which is a 19 defend. Mm -hmm. Then you have to hit him again, so you dealt taking two mystics for that. Mm -hmm. But if you unsuccessful in that, he just goes back to click one. Right. So it feels like there's a there's a missing sentence there on his return to click, or Much like Black Panther. From right, like the Secret Wars, Wars. Battle yeah. World, Black, yeah. Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, where he returns to a click. If not, if you don't deal him all six, he just goes back. Or if you mastermind to him. He just goes all the way back. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not healing, so, you know, things aren't 
think to stop healing don't, don't stop him. That. So, you know, his initial thought, you turn him to click six and you get a 20 defend on your whole team, that's fine. But you also get an extremely hard to KO piece for 40 points. Yep. So, um, it feels like the Watcher might get a change. He could. I'm not saying that he will. I kind of hope he doesn't. I mean, I like a very hard to KO cosmic piece right. that's been up my alley yeah. over the years. So, um, Watchers. Watcher. Very... Very, powerful character, very powerful. powerful figure. Yeah. Um, so more to come on that one. So uh, check us out in a couple of days uh, for the playthrough of the miniatures game with our special guest. And um, thanks, WizKids, for sending this stuff. And hope you enjoyed our unboxing of the mini game and the dice and tokens. And y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Later.